Hi everyone, my name is Dara and this is Dear Hallmark. This is a space where I nerd and geek out over Hallmark Channel movies, TV shows, and stuff. And we're doing something a little bit different with this video because we didn't have a new movie premiere over the weekend on Hallmark, I thought I would share my thoughts on a new movie premiere that Up TV did. I do watch the movies on Up TV as well as GAC and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Let me know if this is something that you want me to continue doing. If you're someone who likes Up TV or GAC and you want to hear my thoughts, excuse me, on those movies, let me know. So this movie from Up TV is called Listen Out for Love. And they've called their kind of Valentine's Day or February batch of movies Flirty February. So this is the first movie in the Flirty February lineup for Up TV. Um, I have not seen or heard of any of these actors before. The actors' names will be in the description box. But here's a little bit of the premise. So Peyton is a producer of a podcast network or media company called Shake Up Media. We are introduced to her knowing that her ex is on another podcast and he's blown up. His name is Graham. And she's currently the producer of this podcast called Mindful Mornings or something with like mindset in the morning or something like that. Her boss is having is wanting her to bring in this hot shot TV guy named Alex who's like a loose cannon and she wants to bring them on to the and like to have a podcast with them and she she'll know that the ratings will go through the roof blah 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 so Peyton goes rock climbing with them because you know he's all over the place and he ends up signing with that media company for a podcast and um, a little bit into the movie they find their niche in terms of what he's going to do and he's going to help one of his good friends find love. That's the, the movie. And throughout the course of that, they themselves fall in love with each other. And that's pretty much the movie. Um, what? So this, this reminded me, this was definitely your typical woman is the planner, discipline, to-do list. Man, it, the, the, the guy is like spontaneous. You know, it's that stereotypical storyline, which I was like, ugh. I just yearn to see where, I know they did it in Pearl in Paradise, where Christopher Palaha's character was very much the planner, the to-do list, the structure, the organizer, and Jill's character was a little bit, you know, funky, spontaneous, a little, you know, um, wide-eyed wonder, if you will. So this movie, the, the biggest thing that I took from it, it was super inspiring because I myself am one who started a a media company, a print and digital media company called Avenue 89. And last year I it it was it was rough from a business sense because I kind of went through an identity crisis as a business, especially with things at Dear Hallmark picking up. I didn't know what to do, where to go, what would become of Dear Hallmark? Would Dear Hallmark be its own thing? Would it still be housed under what I call my creative warehouse? Like what, what is all going on? But watching this movie, it kind of gave me the fuel and the inspiration that I need to, to get back into the, the core of my business and revisiting why I wanted to start this print and digital media company why I want to have a podcast network, how much I love podcasting. Um, for those of you who may not know, I do have, I have another podcast um, outside of this one specifically for literature. I'm a reader, I'm a book nerd. And so if you're someone like me who reads a lot, I have another podcast called The Book Sale, which I had put on hiatus to focus on Dear Hallmark content but I'm going to pick that back up since I've now found a rhythm with how I want to take Dear Hallmark and what I want to do with it. So that was the biggest thing for me with this movie. It was super inspirational. And they actually, there was a, they aired another like podcast type movie before this that I'm going to watch. I think it's called Calling In For Love or Call Out or something. I'm going to watch that one too. But that one was from 2020, I believe. 
Uh, I think that the two leads had great chemistry. Um, it can be a little slow. I found myself kept looking, I kept looking at the, the time bar and I was like, oh my gosh, it's only 40 minutes in. Even though it was a bit slow, I still enjoyed it. I laughed out loud a couple times. The guy had some really good lines. Comedic delivery was on point. I enjoyed that. Um, the ending was cheesy. I mean, what do you expect, you know? Uh, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I think I definitely enjoyed it. Would I sit down and watch it again? I don't know. I could totally see myself having this on in the background while you're cleaning or cooking. Um, one of the things that bugged me though, I hate when people are out to eat in movies, whether it's no matter what meal it is and I don't see them eating or they're just fooling around with their food. Like, I want to see you take a bite. Let me know that you're really in there, that you're really... Uh, I, there was this one scene where they were at lunch and all three of them had plates of salads. Ain't nobody touch it. And they were full plates of salads. Nobody touched the salad. I'm like, can I have a piece? Like, what are we... What's going on, you know? But um, outside of that, I like I said, I enjoyed this movie and I think it's worth your eyeballs. I do. <laughs> I think it's worth a shot. Now, because Up TV is in flirty February, the rating I'm going to give is going to be out of five hearts. So I would give this movie three hearts. I, yeah, I would give it three hearts. Um, so like I said, let me know if you want me to keep doing these Up TV movie reviews. There are the next week's movie. <laughs> Child, when I tell you, okay, I, okay, next week's movie, or this week's movie, I should say, The Story of Love, when I saw that trailer, my mouth dropped. I said out loud to nobody, from what Greco-Roman statue was he carved out of? I don't understand. God. Were there some other materials that I, I wasn't aware of that you used with him? I'm confused. We are gonna have to have our armor on for that one. I'm talking breastplate of righteousness, helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit. Cause I'm like, dang, Daniel. What, from whence did he count? From whence did he come? And then we have the lovely Brittany Bristow who's playing our um, leading lady in this, which I'm also excited to see. But golly, Bobcats. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, we're off that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to hear more from me, more reviews of movies, be sure to check out the Dear Hallmark podcast. There is a link in the description for you to subscribe. And if this is your first time watching me, don't be a guest. Become a family member. Subscribe. It's free. And be sure to follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. I randomly go live on there and we just have all sorts of fun on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video.